Yeah. Welcome back. We're here talking with Donna Callhorn and Laura Stevens. Welcome to the show. And they are mother and daughter. Yeah, we just found that out. Yes. And we're talking about um, uh, an organization that is this new? Is it called The Call? And yeah. what does and that what mean? Uh, the call is, it's new to Boone County. It's not new to Arkansas. It's been in Arkansas a few years already. And it's launched in, will be the 28th county. And it's a faith-based organization. And we recruit foster and adoptive homes. And we work right alongside DHS. We do the same training and everything that they do. Mm -hmm. So we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, but basically we recruit from the churches. And so mm -hmm. we do um, informational meetings and we um, speak within the churches and we try to recruit foster mm -hmm. families. And our goal is to keep every child that's in foster care right now within their own county. Uh -huh. um, we have several kids right now that are in different places around the state because mm -hmm. we just don't have enough homes here. Yeah. So we're trying to open more. But, but you you guys are involved. I mean, we talked yes, during the break, and, yes. and and you said that you you have had twenty some <laughs> foster kids in and out of your home over a certain period of time, right? Well, I've had forty something in my <laughs> house oh, God. So in my, over for a while. We've adopted four of our children through foster care, so we have six total. I had two yeah. biological. And, um, but we kept about 40 kids while we were still doing uh, You know, and it just so. blows me away. I d you know, I told you that, that it would be difficult for me to do that, e either mm -hmm. out of selfishness that. or, or just, just not knowing that I could, could handle the stress or, or whatever. Is I there an education you, well, process? To, yes, yeah. you have to see the need. Yeah. Really, uh, I think we live a bit of a sheltered life I'm yeah, sure here. Yeah, I'm sure we do. Yeah. And I think once, uh, one of the things that we're trying to do is just help people to see the need, mm -hmm. you know, for, you know, these children really haven't done anything wrong. Right. They just have parents with problems and need help. And, and so we want to educate just even in Boone County, be able to, mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, when these kids are taken into care, mm -hmm. they would love to be able to go back to their school the next day, yeah. right. go back to yeah. their church, go, you know, be available to see grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. but, try to keep their lives as normal as yes, possible. Yes, yeah. Like and I think yes. that's the thing that motivates me a lot is just realizing it's not really the kids. They haven't done yeah. anything. Yeah. They, right. they just need help. You just right. need and, to be the facilitator to help them carry sure. on their life, right? Yes. right. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's, and that's what the CALL does, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The CALL actually stands. It's an acronym for Children of Arkansas Loved for a Lifetime. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was started in Pulaski County. But, yes, that's what we want to do. Just we want to, you know, homes. There's so many people that have empty bedrooms and yeah. just need, you know, these kids just need a place to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to and feel. I say we kept 40 kids. We did emergency care at that point we only lived about one mile from the DHS office so it was very convenient for them to say I need a place for the yeah. kid to spend the night but it, um, wouldn't it be nice so if you had more people like that yes, uh, that, but that yeah, would yeah I mean most of the yeah. time it would just be even you know one child and, and most of the time and sometimes it is just a short-term thing and sometimes yeah. it's long-term every case is different of course and, but, and that might help people yeah. to to accept that as it's a short term sometimes mm -hmm. and it's not right. forever Right. Yeah. Yeah. The goal is always to reunify the families. So yeah. we really try to get the foster children back in their home. Yeah. And we try to educate the parents and get them the help that they need and just try to get all the support and everything that they can for the child and the family. And that's where CASA comes in. We were, yeah. you were just mm -hmm. interviewing the yeah. CASA mm -hmm. ladies and, and they are huge advocates for that. And so they're mm -hmm. a huge help when it comes to court mm -hmm. and being able to talk with others. And, and so everybody really works together and it's all about mm -hmm. the kids. Now, aren't um, there foster parents? <coughs> classes that help you in the process of being prepared yes. to know what to expect? Yes, and we have a, the call in Boone County. Our official launch date is January 5th. Uh, we have a big event planned out at 12 Oaks, and it's at 2 o'clock on that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so we have a big, and that's open to the public, so we're inviting everyone okay. to come yes. and find out about it. And then our first information meeting is hosted by First Baptist Church. They're our first church um, for the first quarter, and so we, that's January 13th, which is a Monday night at okay. 6 o'clock. So if you've ever considered being a foster or adoptive parent, you just show up at the information meeting. And we give you just the basics, the things you okay. need to know to kind of get started. And if you're interested, you, there's some forms and paperwork type mm -hmm. stuff, background mm -hmm. checks, things you have to get filled out. And then you go through training. And there's 30 hours of training. It's pretty intense. Wow. And um, actually, my mom and I are the trainers. So <laughs> okay. we, will, we are going to um, start. The first training will be in March. 
So uh, we'll do that, and we do it over two weekends. That's the nice thing mm. about the call. Mm -hmm. If you go directly through uh, DCFS right now, they spread it out over about 10 weekends. And that's a holdup for a lot of people. It's a big-time mm -hmm. commitment. And so we pack it all into two weekends, and we do it all day Saturday and then Sunday afternoon. And then we take a weekend off, and we do it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we um, we pack it in, and mm -hmm. it's a lot of information, but it really helps We have really some big goals set. You know, that's mm -hmm. going to be our first meeting mm -hmm. but we mm -hmm. have our goal by the end of the year is to have 10 new foster homes open two new adoptive homes open mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um we should if we know the statistics how many children are in boone county right now we have 63 was the last official count i heard that were in foster care mm -hmm. and we only have six foster homes open right now so 86 okay. percent of our kids are out of county wow. and the caseworkers are having to drive them all over the state to wow. just find a place to keep them so we really want them to be able to stay here yeah and for that, more information uh, do you have a i have a i have a contact person it's karen ketchum which is she's is, a is county a, coordinator she's a county coordinator mm -hmm. and i have a phone number for her and because if somebody interested you want them to contact her for for that yes. for, for yes. that more information okay. and that number is 870-518-9209 yes does that sound familiar yes okay just want to make sure that's right yeah <laughs> and you need to contact her for more information and this event's coming up in december 5th is that right january Jan january. i'm sorry january 5th january 5th and that's at your 12 oaks. it's going to be at 12 oaks at so 2 p.m yeah 2 PM. yes okay well we appreciate you being Thank here you, ladies. and Thank we you we you have so to much. tip our hat to what you're doing because not everyone can do that and this is a great service that needs to be done just from the sheer numbers that you're telling us that that there is a huge need there yes yes and Thank we appreciate you. you being here, and we want we want you to come back, of okay, course, and, and update us and and tell us keep keep the keep that uh, urgency going, so we'll our viewers out Maybe there we'll will bring know that some it's, kids next time. Please do, please, <laughs> please, absolutely. Wouldn't that be fun? We'd love that. Thank you, thank, thank you so much for being you. here. Appreciate you being here, and we want to thank all the guests that have been on the show today. And I want to thank you for being here. No, thank you. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you will. No, yeah, hope, yeah, hopefully we will. Yeah, sure whatever. Will. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Yeah, let's applaud that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs>